Hi everyone, this is Reed. Today we're going to be an in doing an introduction into VLOOKUP and pivot tables on a Mac. So VLOOKUP is a way that we can uh, add to our data using an outside source. So uh, just to give ourselves an overview of what we're looking at, we are using the Gens Juice Bar data set and we have five column headers here, type sold, time of day, promotion type used, size purchased, and quantity sold. For these first four columns, it, looking at this it doesn't really tell us anything. Type sold uh, relates to a different table and so when we see a five we don't actually know what that means. But over here on our data tables tab we have data tables for each of the uh, first four columns. So here we can see that when we have type 5, we're actually talking about carrot juice. So we can use VLOOKUP to add this information to our Excel sheet so that way when we do pivot tables, it'll be more informative. So if we go back to data, uh, we're going to start doing VLOOKUP. And to do that, I'm going to click on column B, and I actually want to click on the label up here, and what that's going to do is select the entire column. Now we can right click and go to insert and this will give us a new column that we can start building our VLOOKUP formula in. So the first thing we're going to do is copy our column title over to our new column and what this is going to do is let us uh, know what we're looking at once we kind of clean up our data after the, we do our formula. So I'll just paste that there and now we can start building our formula. So to build our formula we have to start with the equal sign and we can begin typing what we're looking for, so in this case VLOOKUP. And then I'm going to do an open parentheses. And from here you can see that VLOOKUP is looking for four different things in the formula. The first is a lookup value. The lookup value is going to be the number in our current data set that we want to give meaning to. And so that's going to be this adjacent cell 5. We can now press comma, and you can see that VLOOKUP has highlighted table array. So the table array is going to be the data table we'll be using to reference. So because we're trying to find the type of juice, we want this data table. So I'm going to click on the top of it and drag down until I have all of the information. In this case, it's OK to grab your column header because nothing in our data set will say code, so we're never actually going to look it up. Once we select all of our data, I'm going to press Command T on my keyboard, and what that's going to do is anchor our data table. So as we move through our data set, it's going to always be referencing this exact table. And again, the command for that is Command T on a Mac. Now I'll press comma, and it's now highlighted column index number. So what this is asking for is the column in our table that we want to pull the information. So this would be column 1 and this is going to be column 2. So column 2 is going to be the column that we want uh, so that way we actually understand what each juice sold is. So I'm going to just press 2 and finally I'm going to press comma one more time and it's asking for the range lookup. So what range lookup is, is it's asking us are we okay with a close answer or do we want an exact answer? Um, for the purposes of this class it, we always want an exact answer and to get that we can type in false. So I'm going to close my parentheses and press enter and you can see that VLOOKUP has gone in and told us that if we have type sold 5 it's caret. And now if we click on our cell that we built our formula in, you can see this nice uh, little box in the bottom corner. And if we go to that and double click, it's going to go in and fill all of our uh, values for the rest of our table. So that was just a quick introduction into VLOOKUP. I'm going to uh, do VLOOKUP for the rest of our columns, and in the next video I'll show you how to finalize the data and put it into a pivot table for analysis.